Hi guys, I'm pretty excited today because I am going to deal with this weird thing, which is called an artichoke, which is an edible flower bud of a plant in a thistle family. Suggests that it doesn't want to be eaten, otherwise it will make you choke. Artichokes are, however, a superfood in every sense of the word. The phytonutrients in artichokes provide potent antioxidant benefits. A serving of artichokes provides greater antioxidant benefits per serving than many other food traditionally considered to be antioxidant rich, such as dark chocolate, blueberries, and red wine. Dealing with artichokes, though, could be a little intimidating, especially the turning technique. Before you start, fill a large bowl with cold water. Squeeze in a couple of lemons, but save one half to rub your freshly trimmed artichokes. Here is the method with the stem left on to begin with. You want to hold your knife this way, straight up. Same for the artichoke, straight up. Oops, you want to put this underneath so you keep your station clean. And then you go that way. Of course, you gotta work with a sharp knife. Turning an artichoke or tourner an artichoke in French means cleaning down to the heart, rotating it as you go. When you have reached the lighter yellow leaves, you should clearly see the shape of the heart saying hello. It is very important to keep it round. Now, with a paring knife and carefully trim off removing green stuff, starting from the base of the artichoke and around the stem. You just want to go after all remaining green spots, then cut the top off using a bread knife. Then, with a melon butter, remove the fuzzy chalk and rub with lemon to prevent oxidizing. Keep the heart in lemony water for a few days or frozen in freezer bags for weeks. What you can also do is snapping off the stem rather than cutting it. It says that more fibrous stuff come out from the heart, but that's something you would have to figure out yourself. Depending on the variety and the season though, some stems are meatier than others. And quite frankly, you don't need to leave the stem on for most preparations such as sauteing or stuffing artichoke hearts anyway. However, it looks good with in some occasions. So whatever method you choose, the cleaning process remains the same. As showed earlier, the fuzzy choke can be removed before or after cooking. To be honest, easier once cooked. But again, it depends on the recipe. Artichoke heart can be simply boiled or steamed with some aromatics or braised a la barigoule. Next, I am going to show you how to steam artichokes. In my water, I like to throw in a little bit of star anise, black peppercorns, salt and lemon. With a good serrated knife, trim off the stem, remove small outer leaves or bracts, trim off top and cut off any of the sharp tones on the tip of the artichoke leaves. Look at me, I'm so pretty. Next, you want to soak this gorgeous flower in lemony water. Then transfer into the pot. Turn the heat on, on full blast. And when it begins to boil, lower the heat and let simmer for about 30 minutes. If you want to stuff your artichokes though, remove the choke now while it is hot and stuff them, bake them and serve. Otherwise, enjoy these beauties with some melted butter, mayonnaise or aioli or even healthier than that i like them deep into a vinaigrette based on red wine vinegar and olive oil mm, so delicious i hope guys you enjoyed this artichoke episode please subscribe like me on facebook and follow me on twitter instagram and pinterest and don't forget to check all of my recipes on brunoskitchen.net ciao ciao